Ramanda, on the coming news coming to come to go, then Kwasi Kalabia, then Kobe Kachi. So you want this what to come? It was very clear vision. So I was like, I said, it was coming to I said, in the name of the, 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 the. so because that means we should, we, we, we're not to take it. We're not to take it. Doesn't matter what they say, but we're not to do that. We'll not ask God, hallelujah. It, because if you you can't, you, it's like me. I know this is poison. You should take it. I won't take it. You get the point? I've told you what that means. Hallelujah. What it stands for. Now, if you cannot, if you cannot handle your your flesh normally, when did I tell you to engage it? How do you handle it anymore? I said there are two things for this vaccine. Number one, to number you, to number. Number one, I mean, number one, to reduce population of the world. So the the disease came to cut down the world's size because it's too much, it's too much for antichrist to handle. Antichrist cannot call. It is too much for him because he's not omnipresence. Only God is everywhere. So he needs chips to control you. So if they say, if they say, what's the what, what's happening? They'll say, they say there are one fifty people in some place in the state. Hide so please look at them because they have chiefs of their body. That's what's going on now. Then number two, I mean to bring to his population because the, the, that is the, the look. If you see that period, you see the number of death that took place. You see in the Singapore, it was the street. No, the mortuary was filled up. Mortuary. So you are using streets were filled with corpses. Aim number one to cut down what size. Aim number two to turn it to a, G, a GMO. A, a headset. He has said that they can locate and spot any time. And the third one is to bring down the sensor in the moon to hang it around the atmosphere. Moon is too far. That's what they call 5G, maybe 7G. It is high level of infrared rays. Very strong. That means that means if you have you seen them put a bulb and it light up now in their body, you seen them boob, you see them hang phone on it. It's not a, it's not it's not trick, it's not trick. So what you have is not is a matter going to Jemo. We're gonna pray. That demon that's trying to enforce it will create that demon. He said the Lord shall cut them off. He shall cut them off. That for God. Now, why did God show us? Because he knows we have power to say no to it. Hallelujah. He, he, that's why he said, So we want to say my record, my father, my God. By the voice of the Lord, hallelujah. By angelic television, hallelujah. By your good hands, oh God. We cage every demon. Every power that wants to force the vaccine or coronavirus or people's body God, we catch the Marokuba. It shall be by trust. Hallelujah. Pray a prayer, Marokuba. Sorry, we catch that in Mohanukaya. The Marokuba, the Baraka Dokora that wants to harass the church. We catch those in Mohanukaya. Jan Kasukala, that demon for hell. You are destroyed, Marokuba. Jan Kati Kulaba. We catch you, Masokula. We cut you off. Resokula. Majeke in this nation. You are caged. The world, you are caged out. We destroy you. When you are calling, it says the Kalabande. The court to the Braka Lassos, Jacaba Calamonde, a Swadin Cati Cuba Rayal, Jacaba in Cobranos, Jacob Cobreca Rayosam, Jacaba in Catalon. In bracket is all Jadua Dua Kayiga Dazos Raswikit Baronde Raswadi Kamorosa Yakwaswade Kaba Rezueswe Kaniba Raswakala We cage that demon and all his agents we cage them Marokola we salad of God Mazekula Basia in Kesulabaya in the name of Requasa Kalamonde in Katura Kalabayesus Jacobe Kura Kalamanze as a total decree. Every demon and power, an agent of darkness that wants to use force to fascinate in the world of God, that thing is caused the demon to resume. It shall be complete by choice. The demon to her lawyer. In the demon to her lawyer. Thank you for that prayer, Lord. It is not her lawyer. Put your hands together for Christ, her lawyer. I will see the Lord bless you. When he shall come, he shall sh- guide you into all truth. So you don't walk in darkness of lies. In your nation affairs, a church is not a mushroom where you just come and hear Jesus said that that's true, but you are exposed to the truth that gives you both spiritual comfort, soulish comfort, and bodily comfort. He said, What it is all finished on the cross. That means your poverty is finished on the cross. Your pain is finished there. 
Your miscarriage is finished there. Every evil was finished there. It is what finished. Why I've paid, I've made a exchange of your trouble. So the Holy Ghost came to reveal to us the things that God did for us. For as long as a child is a child, he's what? It be, even if he's the hair, what? He remains under tutors. This boy owns all the father party, and the boy is just uh, seven years old. But yes, he's the owner of everything. This boy walking, you are seeing like this. This young boy walking. He's seven years old. Shoot up, bam, on head. But he owns your salary in case you are earning money from the father's company. This just more boy, hey, hey, this so he owns. But because this child happened, he's still under under tutors. He's taught to a place where he becomes what? Sound enough to take charge. So if you are still a child as a Christian, you don't know what you have, how to take it by force or power. You don't know how to command dominion. The church has done the right way you come and say, do this, you do it. No, no, no. They must ask from God first. And if God says no, they also say no. Hallelujah. Now, every government in your life, that for, for family government that won't let you have peace. It's on the name of Hallelujah. Today is a day we call it what? The comfort of what? The comforter. Before we were born again, we lived in, in complete confusion. For without me, you can do what? Nothing. All your achievement without the Holy Ghost is nothing. Why? What shall it profit a man? If indeed they achieve all those things and end the foolish in hell, it's a fool. A man of God says something that talk me. He said, He said, The hell is not that because it burns. But you'll be there with foolish, foolish people the whole life, all your life. I said, Foolish people. I said, I, I, what, what foolishness? What foolishness? Insanity. You know, we spoke, we spoke about insanity last time. Yeah? That any spirit you use that works in your life that's the holy spirit is what's your what insanity they are all called insanity spirits any spirit not holy ghost working in your life hmm? give you direction outside god's will is what insane spirit why god has not given us second timothy 1 verse 7 spirit of what fear but of love power what sound mind so if it's not from god the holy ghost it's not sound mind it doesn't give sound mind it makes you insane. See, you see, you know, there's something that a Bible said, Bishop Bible said in Shiloh. He said that, he said, when I came to this place, I loved what Papa said. He said, take it raw, swallow it all. Take it what? Raw, swallow it all. Don't dissect God's word. Don't try to make it smaller. Take it raw, swallow it all. The way it is. Then it will bring out what? The, the crude result in your life. Crude result. You cannot compare crude and, and uh, refined oil. No, no, no. There are places that crude comes to, craft can't come there. That is very dangerous. There are places they bring that stuff to, which can't come there. Crude, you know, crude, crude, even it's bright white or whatever, the two of them. That is very, very is a, is a, is a, is a, I don't know what they call it. That thing is as. It, yeah. So, when it's raw and crude, it's more value than, you know, it's more, it's more potent. When you separate something from the word of God, when God's work come, take it wrong. Solve it all. Or else you won't get the best of it. So insanity simply means absence of the Holy Spirit. By by the definition of uh, first Timothy, or is it second Timothy now? First, second Timothy, let me look at it. And this should be it should be second Timothy. One verse seven, second Timothy. By that definition, we know that insanity means what? Not just getting mad on the street. No, no, just that's just not just that. For second, God had not given us the spirit of is that fear. First or second Timothy. Second Timothy. One verse we can read for us. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, mm-hmm. but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. That means if it's not the Holy Ghost, it's not a sound mind. So you are insane. So most senators are insane. Most governors are insane. Those most of the guys you see, you bow for them, they're insane. They're bow for a madman. One day when the hotel, those days we used to go to the hotel, and and I saw some guys come down with their shoe, their suit, where they were going like this. Ah, my friend said, "These are men." I said, "These are no men. These are no men." 
because they stink. They have not word in them. They don't have the Holy Ghost in them. They are what? He said. It takes a madman to see fire enter the fire. It's madness. That no matter what you're telling, you are telling all these things, he doesn't want to hear. So until the Holy Ghost comes, you're like, ah. you know, there's a way I think of my past now. I'm short. So was I actually living like that before? It means you're actually insane all those while. The Holy Ghost gives you what is what the sound mind. I'm saying what insanity. That's the def- that's what it means. If you read the I will tell you in English language, it's a simple English language. It means as the what? That's what it's some so some I can reason things very properly. Now the comforter comes with the Holy Ghost to break those things that makes you do things against God and His will to end you what in the lake of fire. It comes to destroy. That's it's, now all the while you were without the Holy Ghost. You could see you could see your life and the, the difference now. You might not have all the money yet, but there is soundness in your spirit. There's divine potency at work in you. That because it's, it's been broken down into kinetic form to bring proofs that will shock you. You gather it in potential form, the word of God, and after as you pray in tongues, you break them into kinetic forms. The flow to bring testimony for you but it has to be forced in the potent form take it raw put it in raw because you what you don't give what you don't have if it's not there it's not there if if a container has what has um, um has um, um what's it called wine in it is feed up if you should go overflow it day, it's why not your content is what comes when you are shaking when you come under life pressure, it is your content that will bring come out if you are shaking. So, if a man is an angry person, that's what he has inside. It, it, now, it doesn't matter what, what brings out the anger, it's, it's already there. Are you getting me? If you can, anything you do, it's already inside of you. You have to bring it out. If it's not, it's not uh, God of God, you bring it out. You know why? If it is there, the devil needs only one thing to know what it is to bring it out for you. If you're an angry person, that's your weak point. All he needs to do is to learn what it is to bring it out from you. And you see, the people will just buy, get some things, and what they think you have to destroy TV in their house. Everything destroyed. <laughs> you buy and destroy. Is that a madness? Maybe the guy is a, he works in the, is a, is a, is a director, director of the bank. So if he comes out, he will suit you. Say, but, ah, yes, sir, yes, sir, but it's, it's insane. Comes back home and is angry and destroys everything. That guy is mad. He's insane. All these people you see who are forming suit, some of them are actually insane. When you see them angry, you'll be surprised. Break the whole TV in the house. I can buy it back. Now, no, 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 you are a fool. So if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you have what you have what insane spirit also they have. So as a pastor, you say go and do this and this will make your church grow. Not by I say by what? It's not by Holy Ghost. I say I know. Because if it's not by the Holy Ghost, the thing might work. <laughs> you know why? What's going on is there is this. When, when you go and do anything in the darkness world what they do is this when you do anything charm or sacrifice the demons go to appeal to those working against it the same demons so he goes to say ah this man has joined also and he's done this it's good for if he doesn't work he will leave also so you they must work so all those blockages remove it for a while just let them let them begin to come now they move for a while now what happens <laughs> it is answer coming now you know you have done wrong the guilt is there now. Why you are alive? There's a cancer only eating you up. You're alive. That the guy they say killed his wife, and is it or you? I don't know. I don't know. You know, you can't do wrong and succeed. So they still find out how you where you dump the wife and kept the wife. And now, now he's going to jail physically. I'm still go die and go to jail. So you do you do that rubbish, and then you get it's, it boils down to money. Now, you when you finish, you die, go to hell. Maybe your life here is 60 years. Can you live? How many police stairs? How many, how many police stairs here? No, how many police you 60 years? As it was your age now, I mean, so, you want watching 60 years is difficult. I was begging God because when I saw some things people go living now, they're, they're more prayerful than I am. You get the point? I'm telling you the truth. 
then you go to hell and born for life. Who is foolish? You are insane. You are insane. You are insane. When the Holy Ghost comes, He will teach you, guide you to all truth. I mean to what? And show you things to come. That this thing, no, ah, it's okay, but this is the end of it. Make a choice. And apart from that, from here to that end, you won't have cancer. Make a choice. In fact, beginning from now, you are in trouble. Make a choice. Why? It gives you what? A sound man. To reason. If you lack the Holy Ghost, you lack sound man. Say, I receive Holy Spirit, hallelujah. For sound man, hallelujah. If you are insane, it will show, Abby. It will show. It will show. It will show. It will show. The Holy Ghost come for us first. When he landed, you show what the first thing he does is to mortify our members, which is our worst enemies. The man that goes to use means to get money eh? is out of out of um, lust. He has seen others, so he wants to be like them. Members, what's the members? He say now the the a man's enemies shall be what the members of, what? of our body. Now the man's worst enemy shall be what the members of his body. What are the members of your body? Your eye, your mouth, your smell, your skin. They are the things that fight you. The, the lost or praise from these things. One day, you know, we're doing something. Somebody said to me, Ah, this one, hide them. I said, Why? He said, You know, hide them. It's uh, Angela come. He must take them. Because Angela and the guy says, Can't I mean, you cannot control her eye when it comes to that kind of stuff. Are you getting the point? There are things I see I like. I will tell my body behave. Body what? Behave. When he knows he has no power to control you that way, he will come down. These things are spirits. They're not, they're not ordinary things. But they, they walk on your flesh. To pre- Galatians 5, 19 says, Now what are these? All those, open for Galatians 5, verse 2. All those things you see there, eh? the spirit comes to rest on you eh? and look for the one prominent in your family if it's money problem you use money if your family is that type they don't they can do it for money you will come to money if it's a lottery it, they will come when it's Bible say and the prince of this world came to me what and found nothing in me so he comes to check hallelujah the weak point of the family if they are weak point, they don't they can do it for money uh, no, leave, leave the you leave woman mother and the money, the apple is money, so they can keep for so he will give you the you that 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 the that thing he end up killing for money, he do anything for money. So, what he comes to check, like he came to check just Christ, what he use, he find nothing. You know why his blood was free from contamination, he had the blood that was not tied to Adam's blood. Why Mary didn't have sex with Joseph, the Holy Ghost did it for her and she gave birth. So, they caught of the blood of Adam coming from Adam from him. So the thing there in Adam was under him. Which is the trace of the devil when he gave them that apple in the, in the garden of Eden. That apple is a communion to transfer his nature to them. Through that nature, he enters you to do evil. What's his nature? The flesh, what you said. Can you read for me? What's the nature? Those things there are nature of the flesh which devil rise on to do, to do with you. Now, so, now the works of the flesh are manifest. Okay. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, okay. uncleanness, okay. lasciviousness, okay. idolatry, okay. witchcraft, <laughs> hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envy, mothers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of thee which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time I past, I told you before. I'm t- telling you again that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You understand now? So the devil rise on those things to express them through your physical body. What's the ultimate goal? Rob reward of the heaven of God. And land on them, boom, and give them tongues of what fire. Why? Malachi 3 said, very soon, eh, he shall come to his church. You remember Malachi 3? He said, the father shall come. He shall purge Levi of what? 
they are saying and make them offer offering it in what, what in what in what righteousness so they came to give what the tongue of fire the tongue of fire you get the point what's that for what's that for what's that for is for praying in the spirit to multiply what your members are you here at all so the first thing is what empower you to control your flesh which is the worst enemy you have that's your, that is where the devil drives from so when devil comes he search out for your weak point in your family there's something come with your family now if you look at abraham you look at isaac and jacob they all lie with the same, the same kind of lies with their wife their lie is linked to their wife abraham with the wife lie Isaac with the wife lie. Jacob will lie. So it is in their blood. So if you want to come to any of his children, he still come with the same means. He will still come there. So he has to. What happened? He programs there with the wife. That you get the point. So that is why he comes home. So he came to Christ to check for such things. Found nothing. Hey, God, what's this? So he tried this. But you know what? There was no deposit in him. There was no chip in him. No chip to control him. The pattern has not changed um, has it changed no the same chip you want to put into your body now <laughs> for what for control for control the one he did in the blood eh? we have found the secret what secret the communion it says first corinthians 11 25 it says this is the new testament what in the blood so your the one in your blood is what is old that means every blood carries what a testament you get the point so i'm coming with the new in my own my blood so when i come with the communion i break the one in your blood the one that was given to you by the devil the one that's really put there by by spirit wife and husband you know you can be free then if you don't guide this happen it comes back galatians 5 verse 1 says it says stand therefore in the liberty lest you be retangled into what the yoke of old bondage so if you are purged by the communion you have to stand to keep it safe you have to guide yourself guide your mind you engage keep using your what you are that is to perfection so if you don't do happen they will reoccur how they will can come they never can come to spirit wife husband or to affliction the person is sick and they, they will try not to happen they carry him to balao <laughs> so what we do there you put it up what is razor doing is to get to your blood there's hardly any african man that has no razor on his body it's hardly any african man that don't have what good pastors because when you were very small your parents were not you know, you know christians they can't watch you die on conversion would they do that no so what they know they use it is this is my child dying you are saying what so he carries him to baba Lao. And they say, hey, and what's the advice? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And pa, 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 the thing is gone. So it wasn't the sickness. No, it was the setup. So he stays in the shrine. All the villagers must come to, to bow there. If you don't come, you, you come. Eh? If you won't come, you, you come by force. So he begins with the children first. Conversion, sick, or malaria. They will come to the place. They will cut trees for them. What happened? The spirit enters their blood <laughs> he lives right in their life that's why if he goes to china he will know that he's in china they are picking, picking for china See, wait, 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 you know, if you know, because the thing is right what in their life they are carrying that deity up and down that guy that was delivered from demons how many demons were in the body how many legions one person so through this means from the one from Lucifer, that kind of freedom that Adam gave to you, join the ones your parents did in, in different shrines. Join all this and I walk in your blood. What's the assignment? Rebelling against God. The devil has only one assignment, not assignment for you to rebel against God. So we, the Holy Ghost, mortifies them by burning them off. As I for after I spoil the blood of what? The of sound. The spirit of what? Burn and what? And judgment. So the Holy Ghost, when he came first, he gave you a tongue of fire. Raswade, shakaba kalobo, zikwete kapalonde. What happens? You begin to burn. For he make his angel spirits. And what? Means what? Fuel of fire. That woman that one man called Omajisu, those days, 
it's a narcotic man. So he was giving a testimony that when he was preaching one day, he was, he's not a repentant man. That each time he goes to Kofun, when he's come back, there's a woman in the compound that prays. When the woman prays, the fire begins from his heart, her heart spread to the whole house, to the room. Then if he continues, it spread to the whole house. If it spread to the whole compound, he engulfs the whole compound fire. The fire is spreading. It's from the fire spread. Because when you are born again, there's a fire in you already. It has to be found. It told Timothy, stop all the gifts of God in you by prayers. He said that man, he said each time he come back from the coven, the man, the man stopped praying by three o'clock. So he will hang, he will hang on the tree, waiting for the man to stop praying. You know, the man stopped by three o'clock. So when the woman starts praying, he watch. He, will, he can't come. He wait again, looking at her from the tree. He said like this. He will wait, wait. So the fire begins to less. You get the point? Less. First of all, he less to the house, only the house. He less, less, less to enter inside the room. The room less, less into around the woman. It forms a shape of fire, human shape of fire. Then he will less, less further into the heart and still <sighs> waiting for the next falling again. That's why Paul was a praying person. So he fans continuously. So if he passed, fire goes. That woman you saw, what, that woman we talked about in the market, it was, it was, the fire was on. So the, the woman now saw the fire literally and began to shout. So the first thing is he came to baptize you. To speak in tongues, to mortify your members. Romans 8 and verse number 13. 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall what? Die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds, the deeds, what is this? Acts, Abby? This means acts, actions. If you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the flesh, what happened? You live. So the first thing that grace life life's what is Holy Ghost baptism. Which empowers you to mortify what your memory, which are what which, which is your worst enemy on earth. Loss of the eyes or flesh begins from your body. So it, it it is the worst enemy you have. What you are carrying, your body is the worst enemy. That's why that's why David said, eh? He said, My sin is what? Ever what? What do you say? What's the sin? The members, the flesh, what he sees, how he reacts. It's him, it's him. Honey, wow. They don't, they, they don't change your car now. See, which car will have so well, No, 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 no. I'm not saying that it's bad for you not to get miracles. But if it's lost, lost space, there's a problem. Because you're going to press your husband to do what you're supposed to do. Eh, they say, now, nah, you know me now. Ah, me, you join it for the gene. I'm going to get Which, which one will say, you know, so you know it's wrong, but you press the man because you look, there's a car you saw on the family's place. You want the husband to buy it. So the guy goes to, to want to compromise under pressure. So the first thing to do is to mortify your members in prayers. So you need to baptize in the Holy Ghost. This you power to mortify. See my Father, my God. I receive first baptism of the Holy Ghost. First fire in my tongue to engage it to mortify my members. Then they must hallelujah. If they are mortified, they are under control. That means they are always there, but they are under control. That means it is there. Anger is there. Sunday comes, but it's under control. You can subdue it. It's on, you you wanna want you now be empowered to dominate the anger. When you rise, you put you down. Under control. That's just one name of the Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost, when He came first, He comforts you by what? By empowering you against your worst enemy. What's the enemy? What's the enemy? Your flesh. By empowering your tongue to pray in tongues and destroy the issue of your life. Number two, the Holy Ghost come to comfort us. By what restoring all our wasted years? Have you sat down to cry for when you look at your past? Uh, have you ever sat down? You begin to cry for you when you check some things, you start crying. Wasted years, Joel 1, verse 1 to 4. Read for me. Wasted years. The Holy Ghost comes to the comforter, comes to give us rest, comfort, settlement. By what? By making us what express what restoration of lost things. A command is also come. It brings back what you have lost back to you. What are you lost today? I'm back to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Joel 1. 
The, lo- the word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Petuel, Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Had this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers, tell ye your children of it, yes. and let your children tell their children, uh-huh. and their children another generation, uh-huh. that which the palmer worm had left had the locust eaten, mm. and that which the locust had left had the canker worm eaten. Not in that at all, they are coming. Continue. And that which the canker worm had left had the caterpillar eaten. Hi. Awake, ye drunkards, and weep, and hold all ye drinkers of wine, mm. because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. So, the new one, what, what's that? Is that not Holy Spirit? What's the new one? The one that came on the on Acts chapter 2. The, Holy Ghost, the, the one that came from heaven. It says, standing here unto what? You have what? The new wine coming in, the Holy Ghost coming in. You know, in Ephesians 5, it says, Do, Be not drunk wine. Eh? In a sense, but we feel that the wine has the Holy Spirit. So he says that when this cancer came, he cut off your man new wine. You couldn't pray. What happened? He brought what? Destruction of things. You were not praying. Things began to go down. You lost things. You lost things. He said, Even the one, this one ate. Eh? They made trash. They will still cut. So he, they, to the last, they feed this to you completely. You are down. But he says here, he said, The new wine cut from your mouth. I can bring it back. How? By Holy Spirit baptism. When it comes back, you know, he said, he said, awake, Abi. If you look at verse 15, chapter 3, 2 verse 15, he says here, he said, blow a trumpet, Zion, says, so go a fast and call for solemn word assembly. So he says, by prayer and fast, what happened? You will now begin to call for a restoration. In that jewel to say by that fast, if you look at verse 23, it says what? 23 says, Be glad then after the fasting prayer, be glad then, children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you what? For Mary moderately. You just open now. You have prayed we are the fasting now. Do it. He said you now cause three to four. You know why? You know why I say you prayed. You are the fasting now. First, for Mary, moderately. Okay. You, now you are the fasting. Why? He says, he says, Mary Kulaba. He that is thirsty, I will pour water upon him as thirsty. So when you move from prayer to fasting and you became thirsty, he pours what the Holy Ghost is word of the Spirit. What happened? He said, Oh, this will be poor. What happened? Then he made desert. So when you pour, what happened? What's the effect of it? What's the effect of it? Verse 25. And I will restore to you the years. So when your new wine comes to your mouth, eh? If it, now it was cut off, if you return it back to your one, what's the new one? Prayer in the spirit. When you talk about it, say, by that prayer, I will cause the rain. The what? The Holy Ghost to fall. What will be the effect of the rain? He said, and I will restore what? The years that the locust had eaten. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm worm and great army. Which I said, that means when you pray, when the wine comes back to your mouth by prayer, so what happened? You are restored. You are restored. Now, I Pray to that everything you have lost to your enemies, they are restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Restore the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A guy I watched in NTA one day, he, he was 85 years old. This, this, this is his testimony. He said, Being called to bar at 85, he was being called to bar. I, I don't even one time I saw that on NTA, it was very popular. He was being called to bar at 85. He said, God had restored my academics. Hallelujah. I will restore the years. Wasted. So anything can be restored. That woman that was a prostitute for 10 years, in one sweep, under one year, he got a husband that is proud to walk with her on the street and they have a son. That is what put her what? Restoration. For 10 years. Prostitute, prostitute for 10 years. When there are virgins, virgins, virgins without husband. Why? I will have mercy on what? So that guy, you think that the guy is, does, is not a Christian, you'll be surprised. One day the guy will start burning, rust, becomes fire in the church. Because God has called him off to bless him. God has said, stop at the new what? The new wine. That will be what? Restoration of his life. It was cut off. Holy Ghost put back for us. So with the new one, we pray in tongues and call for what? Restore what? Restore. 
He says, 85 years. He says, God had restored. Hallelujah. Look at this. Say, all I've lost in life, God restored them down for me. The most hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, the comforter, comforts us with his glory. He's called the Spirit of Glory. Romans 6 4, we are told that Christ Jesus was raised by the glory of God. Romans 6 verse 4. Christ our Savior was raised by the glory of God. That means that glory of God is the power of what? Resurrection. If you have God's glory, you have what? You are erased you from what? For now in 1 Samuel 4 4, again, 1 Samuel 4, it says, it says, it says there, it says, 1 Samuel 4 verse 22. And she said, The glory is departed from Israel. Why? Because the ark of the Holy Ghost is taken away. So when the new wine goes, what happened? The glory departs. Because the Holy Ghost what? This is what? This is glory. So when the ark was moved from Israel, what happened? Everything gone. When the ark was gone, all was gone. He said here, first Samuel 4 verse 2. And she said, The glory is departed from Israel, for the ark of God is taken away from Israel. So if the ark is removed, the glory departs. So you are to keep the ark by the word is sanctified. And that's why when God showed us this aircraft as the mystery base, he showed the aircraft. Eh? When I saw, I saw we came here, the aircraft was dehabilitated, abandoned in the village in Bush. That, that is this building. This building. So in a village, this was shown to them to, to, to year 2000. In a village, building. And they said to me, Pastor, I've been waiting for you. So when it happened after so many years, it not came to pass. As I entered with my pastor friend, they said to me, Pastor, I've been waiting for you. And the pastor said to me, This is what you're telling me when I'm coming in the bus. That this is the aircraft in the figure. That as it starts from here, it has no life at all. But suddenly, <laughs> I entered the aircraft. We entered. They joined me we enter. We entered like fools. You know, that, this place, we came here. That's how it is. It is, it, it is like a bell land. It, it is like a, I wish I had that first video I shoot here. This place was like a bell land. Ugly was his name. But we, we came here every week, spent in the blood for seven weeks of fast night prayers. Before, before we came here. Now, now, look at this. We entered the aircraft and it was down. Nothing, the, everything was gone. Broken down in this place. Rounded back with bush and trees. How will he move if he had to move? Now he's dead. And I sat down like others there. So I sat down. The glory of God is not working. Because the glory of God, the Bible says he was raised by the glory of God. That the glory of God now came upon the aircraft. Hallelujah. As I turned to the door, the glass, I saw the wind like this. The fan began to move. Uh -uh. I said, look at this. You know, what's happening here? So the fan moved. As the fan began to move, then it began to reject. I, know, uh, I kept asking questions. What's happening? Which means I was doing nothing. My own was you're asking question. Then I looked at the front where the where the where the, the stereo is. You know stereo of aircraft stereo is? The stereo is. There was nobody there. It was empty body. You can see the wheels on the front. I said, What's happening? It began it began to drive yourself. It began to drive yourself. It began to drive yourself. Then it began to escape the trees. It will, it will escape. I, I wasn't it was like this. The aircraft by itself drove himself by himself. And escape all the wars by himself. He will go like this. It was going like this. It was going like this. Inside the bush. Try to escape. Come out from the bush. It was going like this. Suddenly, after a while, it was the wrong way. With that, with that quota. Or that wrong way, like footpath. He now entered the footpath going like this. Then on that big tree, he dodged that one again. Came back to the place again. It was going like this. It was going like this. Suddenly, after a while, the, the footpath became a tired footpath. It began to go on it. After it get wider, wider. After a while, it became like an airport. Light began to spread from the ground. Light. After a while, it became entering the airport. Then zoom into the air, and I woke up. Every stage of this ministry, every war battle, is those trees falling on those trees, and you have not, you do nothing about it. What do you do? Keep praying. The owner is one in charge, dodging. Dodging, which means he said to me, <laughs> He said, The enemy's tongue 
shall return upon their own self. It means that if they speak, if you speak in this church, if you say it is mad, eh, that word will, will be shown in your life. If anything you are sent to this church, you will be seen in your body. After a while, people will run from you. you know what they will see in you, they will run from you. Is that's what that's what said to me? So when you speak in this church, as you are talking, that you are saying is how is that is, they only see that you are saying, eh? How they see it in your in your life? They, you're talking, it's in your life. After what Paul said, they shall run from the person. Why what they will see will be dangerous. Some on board the aircraft to glory. And he said from this corner of corners, like the bush of your fathers, from this corner of corners. The world will know you from this corner of corners. For it shall be called the Lord Word is there. I went to church in Kedalan. Papa was preaching and turned to a direction. He said something. See, there's some of you here who are playing football now in back of your father's house. What is Balagri? Yeah. He said, Don't worry, keep playing the ball there. Suddenly, you go pro. Suddenly, boom. So he was confirming the same thing that you saw. Now I speak to you today, hallelujah. The same way the aircraft was glorified into the air, any area of lightness, area of lightness actually down. Every area down in your life that you have been praying for it to come up, they are up in the name of Jesus. glory, hallelujah. The name of Jesus, the glory, hallelujah. <coughs> so the Holy Ghost is the glory of the church. When it's there, glory comes. It said, They shall be called, the Lord is there. See, I receive. His will of glory, hallelujah. Haggai 2 says, I will fill the house with glory. And the smoke came, that did it. Well, the smoke came when they came the house. The smoke came. What is smoke? The glory of God. You recall in Daniel chapter number 7, verse 13, it says, And I saw a cloud carry Jesus Christ for what? For what? The earth to the heavens. That cloud, talking about the smoke, is the what? The glory of God. Which what? Which raised it from the ground to what? Make him sit in the places. See, I'm raised. See, I'm raised by the glory of God. The name of Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost comforts you with overflowing blessings. Hallelujah. Thou anointed my head with oil as the Holy Spirit, and my cup runs what over. When the Holy Ghost comes, the comforter comes, he will comfort you by what? Bring to rest what? Overflow. Financial, spiritual overflows. Is by the Holy Ghost in the same jewel tree when they prayed, the Holy Ghost came down as well as the rain, Abby. Because it says, As of me, rain, I'll send rain. That, that's uh, Zechariah 10, verse 1. So when they prayed in, in fasting, what happened? He sent rain. And 23, 25 say what he restored. And 25, 20, uh, 27, 26 say what the vat overflows, what we new wine. The Holy Ghost comes to comfort us with overflow. Say to that, enter. My realms overflow. Hallelujah. Say, I enter my realm overflow. Name of we see the name of Hallelujah. So, when you are with the Holy Ghost, it brings about what overflow. You saw those days in the in the in the in Israel where there were no meat, He moved and brought the word, the meat for them. Abundance is linked to the Holy Spirit. That will be a person. Name of Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit also comforts us by giving us life, His spirit of life. Now he was his Bible said, just like I said, I will send on that comforter. And in John 6 3, he says, What I speak, that just Christ, the word, what I brought as words, the I speak that what life. So the Holy Ghost is life. And in, in, in Proverbs 4, verse 22, he says, He that finds the word finds what life. Why? The Holy Ghost is in the word as life, coming out by revelation and it passes you the life for health. Is he get to do? And the spirit entered into when he speak inside the word. Is with our life that imparts you to bring you divine health and wellness. In John 11, what of him, we saw Christ because of this spirit in his life very confident. They told him that Lazarus is very sick. Matter, they came to them, just, you, the one you love is very sick. That means he loves the guy very well. Then instead of going to rush now, you know, most of us, uh, there's a way we teach pastors. I become a pastor. They come now. They come now. They come now. Just the press. They come. Just the press. They come. Just the no, pastors. Just start to the press. They come. Oh, as if the man is God. Jesus was told that the guy is sick. He was still relaxed. 
because he knows what he carries. Abraham knew why you know he left his wife. Why for sin in the flesh? If you tell the wife he's going to go and kill his son, ah, he will cut his nose. So the man quietly took the boy out secretly and they went for the sacrifice. You know why he did that? He knows if a man can make a woman 90 years get pregnant, if the boy down to bring him back to life, because the woman was already finished <laughs> in terms of childbearing. So whatever made her conceive, breath forth, he will make the child come up. So that's why he took the child. Took the child. Sacrifice. The same way Christ had the same confidence. Like Isaac, he said, don't worry, I'm coming, I'm busy here. He, had, he knew what he carries. That the Holy Ghost, what has life in it, when it come from him, it will give life to death. He was there. I said, don't come for he died. Look at what he told. He said, he said let's go for now. He slept. They say if he sleep, they swear now. Let's not go in. If he sleep, they wake up. He'll be fine now. Say no. In that he spoke plainly to them. There are things they spoke plainly, but they can't, they can't understand. He told them this guy sleeping. They say uh, if he sleeping, uh, if he go wake up, he go do okay now. He said no. I mean what? He's dead. There are things you speak plainly because they can't pick it from your mouth. So he told them please, and it's already there. That's not what he's supposed to do. But he just had to because to convince them, he had to say that he's dead, and he went there. Ah, if you have come earlier. He said, but I am the resurrection and the life. My content is life. When I bring it from my mouth, it will make the dead rise. He said, Lazarus, what? Comfort. And the spirit came from his mouth into the grave. If he had said dead, comfort, it's going to be a problem. You will see Job, Abraham, all they see them coming out because. He said, a time shall come, the dead shall want hear the voice, and they shall leave. So he specified, Lazarus, comfort. Now, I specify regards your life now. That dead business, that dead career, that sinking marriage, that dead body from sickness he specified to Lazarus that dead financial life that you trout in as if you're working lawyer. now I speak to them in that region of death and weakness call for the name of Jesus hallelujah call the name of Jesus hallelujah what is dead with you that should be alive for your joy their back life in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Their back life in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the spirit of life. And what? Resurrection. That's why in Luke 20, 36, they are called children of what? Resurrection. Look at it. Luke 20, 36. Luke 20, 36. They also refer to us as what? As what? Children of what? Resurrection. Because what carry in us life, spirit of what? Resurrection. So we are called the children of it. Because it's important in us. We have power to make the dead in us, the dead around us, to come alive again. If they are far good. Hallelujah. Luke 20, 36. Neither can they die anymore. Hallelujah. For they are equal unto the angels uh-huh. and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Is that your Bible? Are you here at all? So the, that is, it is the spirit of what? Resurrection. That means they have not become what? Children what? Resurrection. Because what they carry is out of them. So I carry the spirit of resurrection. So anything that is in my life, my business, whatever it is, that is dying. And I know I command them to come back to life. That I may know him and the power of what? Resurrection. It's a power to lift up. To lift up. You are up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost comes, He makes the impossible possible for your life. Hallelujah. He makes the impossible possible. Sarah said, Who would have thought huh, that I would give birth to a child at my age? Who can think of that kind of stuff? The Holy Ghost makes the impossible possible in your life. Who would have thought I would give birth at 90 years? But it happened because the Holy Ghost makes the impossible possible. And Mary said, How can it be? Knowing I know not a man. He said, The Holy Ghost that makes all things possible shall come over you and make you conceive and bring forth what children. 
And it said, Luke 1 25, Thus had the Lord dealt with me in the days where he looked upon me until this season and this time to take away what my reproach. There were times you look as you are God hearing your prayers. You were reproached, things are very bad. He said, But God looked upon me like this with a time in his mind. By this time, nobody can stop anymore. And he went through that season of time. What happened? He raised her up, gave her a child at 85. That thing in your life, you think it's not going to happen again. That's good. Happens now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Happens in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Happens now because when the Holy Ghost comes, He makes all things what possible. All things, not some things. All things, all things possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is what the one that comforts the one as a seal or seal for for magnet by rapture. When rapture takes place. He only magnetizes to us. That's why I say, be filled. What with the Holy Ghost? Be filled always. Praying without ceasing. Why? To keep the Holy Ghost seed around you. So that you can be magnetized from the earth when the rapture takes place. Be filled. If you are kind, you'll be left. Because if you are kind, that means you are, you, are, you, are, you are robber. No conduction. You'll be left. If you are actually met by prayers, boom, you are taken. So, he says, did not be drunk in my what? In a sense, but be filled. Be filled with the seed of the Holy Ghost in your life. Because that's your power. It's been rapture. The Bible says in First John 4 verse 17, he said that a trump shall sound. Huh? And then Christ shall rise. How? By the spirit of resurrection. They will be raised. We who are alive and remember, will we'll be taken out of this earth. Magnet out of this earth. But make sure you keep the seed on. Because the Holy Ghost word is the seed of what rapture. Is one that will take you up, he will raise you up and put you there. Say, I receive grace to stay in prayers to the last day, hallelujah, of rapture, hallelujah. That is the seed that will rapture you. If you are carnal, you can't get it at all. And finally, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost, when it comes, it destroys our adversaries as our comfort. When he comes with his red eyes, he says, Although he be along with you. But he will avenge speedily. Although he bears law with you, but he will avenge what? Speedily. He comforts you with vengeance. As that's the one, he said, the day of vengeance to comfort that man who are crying in Zion. Oh God, why, why will this one change? Oh God, I'm serving you. They are mourning, but there's a time space. Will be my joy to the night, but joy comes what? In the morning. So there's a time of the night. In the ministry, in your life, you know, as if nothing's working at all, you wonder which can we have, which one I will do again. Even when this is also, this one says, I don't know the way they walk. Why am I they walk? No, there are time, night as a Christian. You have prayed and prayed. Some of he said, what, you, you know, you saw this, what Elizabeth said, how the Lord looked upon me eh? to remove what my reproach among men. There's a reproach of among men, not among spirits, so among men. But God said, I will remove it when the time comes. Have faith in me. For they that trust the Lord, they shall be what? That's what I'm Which cannot be removed, but they abide forevermore. They can be removed. So when he comes, he comes to comfort us by, by having vengeance against our enemies. As I see one verse one to three. The day of vengeance in my heart. And the year of what? My redeemer has come. As I see three verse four. There's a day of what? That, there's a day that leads to morning. <laughs> It takes vengeance and the money boss off. That day that just come and one day just brings wow, all things change in your life. It just does the money. Enter that day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 30, verse 20. We're going to pray now. When the Holy Ghost comes, He comes to comfort you by fighting your oppressors. Who is oppressing you? The spirit of the devil. That demon in your area. That wizard, that wizard, that occult man has put some things, they call it that is man, and head you bound, and you can't prosper. But today they're going to go right now, hallelujah. The angels are going to go there right now, your compound. I'm just boom, boom, bra, boom, boom, bra, boom, boom, bra, boom, boom, bra, bra, boom, bra, boom, bra, boom, boom, bra, 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 such a name of hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Jeremiah 30, verse 23. 
we saw him there clearly come for our vengeance we he, saw him clearly come for our vengeance first of all we said he will first destroy your he will first give part to my flesh your worst enemy be so when you you, you baptize the holy ghost it's an empowerment to take vengeance against your, against your flesh to mortify it that's the first thing it does now that one is what is to bring vengeance on your human devils a human devil is more wicked why it's a human being but it's a witchcraft with the speed of witchcraft or oh, witchcraft eh? craft of your spirit man, of your life his name is the wicked it doesn't do good in which does, that's what they can eat their children their, their life is wickedness that prayer prayer that they are saying the, uh, the woman they get her three apples have you? when I entered that coven and took the thing like this it was apple when they headed there I gave to the girl she ate it when she took the apple she was very happy as I left the house in that revelation then the woman I saw in that coven which is linked to her I don't want to call her links and so he linked to her came in the, that day knock at the door she and knock at the door she came out came out with the three apple like this what is the matter with you? <laughs> He says, stand therefore in the liberty. So you don't go back to the same yoke. He says, she, she was one that brought it for, for, brought it for her. What's it called? Familiar word? Spirit. When they want to stick with you, spirit wife, he won't come with the face of a person you hate. That girl you lost after you like, he will come with that face. So before you realize, eh, what's happening? You are eating already. Before you realize that this is not dream, this is what attack, you're, you're, you're already down, you're already off. That that is Delilah. Bible says he began to afflict the man until he took his strength from him. Delilah is the one that afflicts you spiritually, drains your life, spare his life. Go and check the go and ask the doctors tell you the content of that semen you are seeing. You will know that what when it leaves you is a dream of life. It's a dream of life. It's a, it comes, and when you have sex with anybody, eh, you are in what oneness for the war is the one you become one with the person. So when I went, we were unilag for pray, we went to a program. I told them that you see what's happening in this school. They say, Pastor, was it? I say it's not that God's not God's not against God's not against girls and boys walking together. God's not God likes. He says, he said to Israel, I will see your children walking in the, in the town. He when he, when he like that he loves them to hold their hands on the street, walk together and love themselves. God's not against, against it's not against that one. It's just about what he hates is this. Hallelujah. When he goes from that follow to what sexual intercourse with your wife, that's what he goes wrong. I told them, now you are all here in the school. You see all of you are saying someone are walking around the street with their girlfriends, okay? But when you move from there to what? Intercourse. When you see the wife, it becomes bad. It becomes wrong. I say, now, what's happened to you? You are setting confusion in the school, which is spread to town. What's confusion? A sleeps with B. B sleeps with C. C sleep with D. A now sleep with D again. So, there's a mixture of blood going on in this campus. So everything that is in A's lineage has entered your life when you step with her. That's why see some people eh, they say all oh, that yeah, I mean, means that I mean, what you mean that it's not in our in our nature, in our family, in our family. How, where is one come from? No, along the line, maybe the man has this something for where he got that stuff. And you know, at that point of that intercourse, you are insane, Abi. Even if you are a Christian, at that point, what you are broken on the walls. So he shall you enter, even you enter, because at that point there's no difference anymore. At that point, the walls are what has been broken already. At that point, the walls are because you are insane. Even if you are Holy Ghost, my pastor, at that point, the walls are gone. So all you have left, do you? They will come back to you again, so your body gets obtained through. Right? So I told them that's the confusion we have. That's what affects you in the future. I told that you guys I said, what if I if I have a girlfriend? I said, no, why will not have, why you go say don't do that? For example, now eh, he says it's better to marry. No, today's a kind of marriage. Pardon me, let me go to that area. He says it's better better what to marry than to born. That means it's only you that bonds. And the union of God and man is very communicable. It's called the bond of peace. But 
any other bond of blood is bond of peace but it's not of god you got bond of what destruction so if you born with a guy that's not your husband you are it's a bond of what destruction bond of peace or what bond but in marriage what is a bond of peace so that thing you've moved from there to there maybe you are a virgin, a virgin. for example now look at look at look at the easiest thing to do now this is you are a virgin this is a virgin you have an intercourse and then you know that that who you have intercourse with you can't forget them in life it's the working of god so day and night in your mind even you, when you're married that person still comes to your mind occasionally you know you can lie to god you know you can lie to god so now what happens is that now if this if they break out from school this one goes away well they're not lost they say they have lost no contact is that those are the devil's cabbage when the time comes he said if you are searched around when the guy is born in church or man is born for god and the devil has searched around know how to get him they go to the girl and they'll begin to walk even if it takes two years it doesn't matter you enter there where does it work they, they, it, that is they around the girl they check her profiles and begin to walk her towards your office towards where you live towards your state you don't know this guy so so because see that's the assignment now he's ranting it's not like a so big he's not a person church no 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 they are coming they are coming they are coming now now after a while maybe he walks in the bank and they post the guy to the same office to her. what happened that's adultery that's what that's adultery that's what that's what adultery they, they, see i'm telling you the from scriptural standard when god say you can't handle it what you can't handle it you when god say you can't you, can, you cannot so believe what god says what happened you beg for mercy so what happened he will intervene he will kill the demons on assignment and you stay away for life or else you're gonna return when she returns the first contact in the office you will know this is adultery on the line you will know that see my father my god today deliver me lost to the flesh as in the most hallelujah I went there because of marriage what day please 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 teach your daughters pray for them your young men pray for them the worst danger is sexual intercourse that's the worst danger in life and that's where all people run push to when they have money so make more to go there instruction it's a bite of the serpent that never ends it has no cure Said by God, Jeremiah 30, verse 23. God comforts me by taking vengeance for me against the devils. So that spirit wife will go down today. People will go back to Hallelujah. Because if he can't get you, he'll go for for that that to your girlfriend of the past. He will get his image, her image. If it doesn't work, he will go physically to get her to come to you. So when, she, when, she, when you finally break down, that's the way she enters. Because there's a war around about you. If she can't come, if she tries to come, the dream it doesn't work. He has to look for that girl physically. And bring her to you. Or bring the man to you. Once you fall, he comes down. She, she breaks in easily now. And takes a siege on you. That can't happen anymore. Can't happen anymore. Jeremiah 30 verse 23. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. You are going to pray the hallelujah. Every wickedness in the high places against this church arise as a mighty white window god and destroy arise as a mighty white wind and destroy i was here praying one day as i had a vision in the night i had people praying praying i said to i said they are praying i said spoke and pray it's a church and i said he said to me they are not he said put your ear down with a praying i said they are praying now he said put your ear down so i went down in that vision and I, it was a white garment kind of church. We were white. Then he said to me, "Put your, and I put my ear down. They were praying and mentioning the church name. 
in prayer and making it catch against the church. I say, ah, why is he doing like this now? He said, I send the white wind. I say, I release the white wind. And he went, well, I saw, blah. The thing removed, tore their clothes, they became stupid naked. The chest began to go up and wipe them. There was a scatter in that place. They were discomfited. The white wind of God can go to your village now and turn that devil mad. That evil uncle man, turn him wildly mad and destroy him. He said, The white wind of a Lord, the white wind of a Lord. Now, be your feet now, break Say, My father, my God, your white wind. As a church, we agree and demand for your white wind to go up against every wickedness enthroned against your hallelujah and tell him the hallelujah. Prayer, prayer, but no cause to guys seek you as you know God. Now, the way you pray for the church, this time how God will attend to you, hallelujah. The way you pray for the church, this time how I attend to you, Lord, go with your wide wind, the wide wind of the Lord, the wide wind of the Lord, the wide wind of the Lord. He say on that day, came like a rushing mighty wind, and ye could like a rushing mighty wind, but like a rushing mighty wind, the quasi could the wide wind. Wind of God, the wide wind of God, the wide wind of God. Abba Father, we call for the release of your wide way. We call for the release of your wide way. We call for the release of your wide way. We call for the release. A wide way to fall on the head. We can go on. Every wickedness and truth by the God will be thrown by a wide way and will tear them down by a wide way. Rakasa will strip them naked by a wide way and that is short by a wide way. He said, The wide way of the Holy Ghost, the Lord, it shall go forward in violence. We make demand. We make demand to God. Abba, Father, help to God. We make demand. Cause your wide way, cause your wide way to come down against all forms of wickedness, all forms of wickedness against such a God. If you are true wickedness against such a God, Lord, let your wide way dethrone that wickedness. Let your wide way tear them down as regular and give your comfort to your church with the great comfort. Comfort your church with the great comfort as one of let your wide way, let your wide way by the power of the blood, let your wide way, let your wide way by the voice of the blood, we demand and receive your wide wind of vengeance, your wide wind, every gang up against your church, every gang up against your church, every gang up against your church of God, let your wide wind of vengeance, let your wide wind according to what wide wind. Go forth, let your wide way go forth, reswak and destroy every wickedness and throne what is on the They throne them, tear them down by your wide way, put them by your wide way. Every charm planted, Araka, let your wide way or put them or put them or put them or put them. Your wide way, we call out, we call for your wide way by the voice of the blood of the Lord, we call for your wide God. By the voice of God, let your wide way, let your wide way, in case of the prayer, let your wide way arise and begin to tear down every wickedness and throw against the God. Don't tear them down. Maka tear them again. My yekulabada. Strip the nickel honor. Let me strip by your wide way. Your stupid wide way. Strip them of honor and glory. Strip them of power. Strip the riches of God and wisdom and strength. Strip them of the God of blessings. Strip them by wide way to God. Tear them down. Every war on the power progress of God. On this commission, let your mighty ones come down. Let your wide way come down. As 
for we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. The same yesterday, the sin of more. He has said yes to power for us. Yes to riches that we must do. Go and bless the God. So Lord, let your wild wind destroy every wickedness of God. The name of Jesus. Surely, his wild wind has come down. Thank you, Lord. Every Amen. human devil, every native doctor, every evil affair, every wickedness and truth against church, hallelujah, as charm a shrine, they are uprooted. Amen. 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 They are turned down. They are turned down. Amen. They are torn down. Amen. They are stripped of power. Amen. They are stripped of power. Amen. They are stripped of glory. Amen. They are stripped of wisdom and strength. Amen. They are stripped of the name of the Lord. Amen. The name of the Hallelujah. Amen. This church has shown takes off in the air. Yes. And if you're born the flat, you walk with it. I said what I said what to you, Hallelujah. Yes. If you're born as a partner. I have prayed for this church. I have a lot of partners in Salat and I pray for this church. They yes. even bring one brings the communion. They bring from Kenan and they bring us colors from communion. Yes. Those are partners. They are not coming here. They are pastors in us. They bring it. Why? Because they believe that God is here. He is here. So anywhere you link to this church, every wickedness against your life, they are down the name of Jesus. Amen. My father, my God. My father, my God. As I partake, as I partake of the communion, of the communion, feel my life with blessing, feel my life with blessing, and the throne, and the throne, every wickedness, every wickedness against my life, against my life. Yes, the communion, hallelujah. Father, I begin to pray for yourself, hallelujah. You know, I said you pray for the church first, hmm? because God owns the church. God owns the church. So when you are praying for the church, He's looking at you like this. So you see how you are praying for church. When you come to your turn, you now begin to shout. You say, hey, "So when my turn, you need to shout for your own, my own." You are shout. So he's the one to hear you when you pray. So when you when you pray for church, pray for church for the heart. Pray more for the church. He will be. He will now know you. You love him. What happened? He will pour. Before you pray, he answer you. Before you pray, he answers you. So when you are praying for the church, he's watching you. Watching you when you are praying. Engage your heart. Pray for the church. And what happened? Before you pray, you want the Before you pray, answer because he knows you love the church. He knows you love the church. If you have a company, I know you are working, you're working against the company, and I will not be happy with you if I have one. No. If I know you pray, what happened? I will love you. I want to be so. That's how it is with God. If you're praying for the church, eh, your prayer, sorry, before you pray, it's already answer. Oh, you not pray, don't pray for church. You come, oh, you always give me, give me. He said, This one, eh, I, I know, I know what. It's only this one if, he, if, I, if I give you one anyway. So learn to pray for the church. Pray, pray, tell God. The truth every grace against my life by this communion. So, my father, my God, I enter the realms of all sufficiency on all area of life. Hallelujah. I enter my realm of settlement in all area of life. Prayers to the prayers of by this by this communion. Enter my realm. Because we drink into the Holy Ghost, and He is the spirit of wealth. Was the one that gathered the quills in abundance. Was the one that gave that woman, gave the woman oil in the, in the gallows, and he sold it and get money. In the spirit of wealth, the Holy Ghost. So we are drinking the spirit of wealth, of blessings. We are drinking the blessing of God. This cup of blessing you bless. This cup of blessing. So the content is the blessing of God. First Corinthians, they say this cup of blessing. That means the content of the cup. What is called the blessing of God. The content, this cup of blessing which you bless, is a blessing, and it's the blessing of God that make her rich and go sorrow. So, Lord, I drink into the blessing that brings me financial fortune, God. Financial settlement, settlement all around, settlement all around, hallelujah. All right, settlement to God. I drink into the blessing of God today, this communion that brings me what riches without what without sorrow. All around, settlement today, Lord. I'm settled all around. Financially, otherwise, settled all around the world by the pine blow. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. This is blessed as supposed to be. By his broken body, we are free from breakdown. Hallelujah. You just my prayer. Hallelujah. So for all of them that are blessed. Hallelujah. As the body. This is also blessed as the blood. And all come that are blessed as the blood. Hallelujah. You take life in abundance. Life in abundance. Every plague pass you over. Every plague pass you over. Hallelujah. No more just hallelujah. Please come by faith. Hallelujah. Believe God. Hallelujah. That this one is the coal of fire. As I see verse 6 to, seven, to it. You see, to the fire of coal for the altar. This is the altar. So come take fire to touch your tongue. So what about, as I say, what my life, what happened? My sins are what cleansed away. So those sins of your tongue can be washed away by the one the touch of the coal of fire from the altar. From the altar. As I see, six to eight. Please come. I'm waiting for you. This is to touch your tongue and to cleanse you from every iniquity of the tongue. For a man's life, life and death about the tongue. For everything you have spoken that brings death, it is, this is to cleanse you to hell. You are cleansing those things from your life and you end that attack of death. I cleanse my life by the communion of the table. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit, you are the love of Hallelujah. 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 We pray your name. Holy Spirit, you are the love of Holy Spirit. We bless your name. Mm-hmm. Holy Ghost, Spirit of Truth. Holy Ghost, Spirit of Life. We drink into His blessings. First Corinthians tells it says, "This is the cup of blessing which you bless." So the content of the cup is called the blessing of God. And Proverbs twenty two ten, uh, ten to two says, "It is this blessing of God that." Make a teach and add also to it. So the communion confers on you his wealth by giving you his blessings. So we partake of the table to get God's divine blessings on life, his blessings, which we translate to what, into, what, into divine wealth. For it is the blessing of God that makes a teach and add also. So we drink into the cup of his blessings. And by that blessing, we engage. We encounter riches with our soul. By this, you are establishing your life in the financial fortune that has no soul attached to it. By the work of the Holy Spirit. By the work of the Holy Spirit. Now pray about the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Pray the Holy Spirit. If you're not blessed the Holy Ghost, you can baptize right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray in the next few minutes. If you are not baptized, the Holy Ghost is time to get it done. Hallelujah. In a few minutes to pray. It's going to be two minutes. You will be touched as you pray. Hallelujah. So, Father, my God, bless, bless, bless me afresh. Hallelujah. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Hallelujah. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Now, tongues means what you say that you don't, you don't understand. That's why, it's, that's why it's very easy. Ain't you say what you want, you can't understand. That's the tongues. Are you get the point? Tongues means you are saying what you don't understand. Hey, so anything you can say with your mouth, you can understand. You say, yes, just tongues. So you must open your, you say, open your mouth. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fill the world with the wine, new wine. You must open your mouth. God, not fill you with the new wine. What's the new wine? The praying of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Say, my Father, my God. Give me the new wine, oh God. Give me a new wine. Empower me with the Holy Ghost power, the Holy Ghost power. to pray in the Spirit. Now I'm going to pray for those who can prepare the Spirit for a few minutes. Pray for the Anything you say with your mouth, you can understand with your head. That's the last thoughts. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus, say, say Jesus. Baptize me. 
The Holy Ghost of fire. Be no prayer prayer and say, Jesus, but that's me to the fire. He say, open your mind, Lord, I'll fill the new wine. Now, open your mouth, I can fill the new wine. New wine of bread. Pray in the Spirit. Be on your feet and pray in the Spirit. Receive the Holy Ghost baptism. My young can receive the Holy Ghost baptism. Receive fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. If you can't pray in tongues, it is difficult to overcome the flesh. I began to over, overcome the flesh. There will be no heritage at all. Anything you say with your mouth that you can hear, God, that's the tongue. Open your mouth. Say anything. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost take over from there. The Holy Ghost take over from there. But you must open your mouth first. Receive by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ baptized him with God with your spirit. With the Holy Ghost and fire, Lord. Lord Jesus, baptize all here. The Holy Ghost and fire, Lord. Maybe they are praying to us. Jesus they give me good balance. Radical abundance. We feel the Holy Ghost of fresh. Rapa <laughs> Receive the new wine in your mouth. Receive the new wine in your mouth. Amen. The new wine that makes you pray the Holy Ghost. Spirit. Fresh new wine in your mouth. The wine of the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Pray in the Holy Japaraka porakata, emparatuzata, repeko parakata, rapa kopotola, japaraka to, emparoto botuza, rapa kotoleta, japaraka tuza, eto batala, japaroko tuza hat, leketo zoko, Jesus baptize you today, with the Holy Ghost of fire, japaratuza. Jesus Christ, fire. Rama Kotelia, Rapa Kopa Reke, and Pereke, and Pekuta, Japilo Talaya, Leko Kaya Madalaba, Jep Leke Pura, and Peleke Tusha, Len Peleke Tusha, Kanta Parayata, Rapa Kata, Rapa Papa, pray in the Holy Ghost. Yes, it's already coming up. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, Topala, in Kesho, Swissy Prison. In Kotola, in Kot, Wayaganos, what in Kot, the Kabalon, in the Gurbayang, Jacoba, Kantu, the Prahot, the Supreme Kalabayan, receive the fresh new wine in your mouth, receive the fresh new wine of the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost, the Cobra Kaya, that wine that was cut off is back to you now, receive, open your mouth and pray in tongues, pray in the Holy Ghost, it's in your mouth, pray, release yourself, receive that wine of the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost, Jacoba. Rapa 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 Rapa
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying, Baba, we are saying thank you. For feeling our mouth with your Holy Ghost. I'm praying for giving us the new and we thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody saying thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah reigns. He reigns. He reigns. 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 You are lifted high above all the gods. You are lifted high above all the gods. Jehovah, you are lifted high. Above all the gods. Lifted, lifted, lifted high. Above all the gods. Oh, 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. The walls are down. Every wall between you and your breakthrough, they are down in the name of Jesus. Every wall between you and your progress, down in the name of Jesus. 
everybody this church and this program stand in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you are blessed and loyal. The Lord bless and keep us. Amen. You are lifted. Amen. This is a whole and dignity. Amen. You are going from strength to strength. Amen. Glory to the hallelujah. Amen. Favor is your experience. Amen. Mercy, Lord, hallelujah. Amen. You're going and coming is blessed. Amen. Say, I prosper. I prosper. All I do, hallelujah. Amen. And I'm blessed, hallelujah. Amen. And Lord, give you peace. Anymore, hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed, God, hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for thank you, thank you again for his done. Give him the glory and praise. Worship him. Thank you. Please thank God for what he has done. Just give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Magnify him. Magnify him. Give him the glory and praise. Worship him. Worship him. Glory to God. Amen. You are blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we excited about this service? Please give Jesus a big hand for that service. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That miracle that has landed in your hands is permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please let us not forget, 345, we'll be back this evening for our marriage seminar. Please, you are invited. Let us try and come and receive the blessings that God has for us and our marriages this evening. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we'll go home now, do what we can do, and try to be back as possible, and then we kick start, and God will do all for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So personalize it, saying, Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please shake one or two people, congratulate them, because God has done good for us this season. Praise you, the Lord.